Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 40 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know that Daniel Bryan has a unique double championship victory motion? This one comes from Diego Rosario who reveals the addition of a new double championship victory motion for Daniel Bryan as despite not being able to assign a double championship victory motion in Crate of Victory, should you win a double championship match with Bryan then you can see him celebrating the win using this unique WrestleMania 30 victory scene which was added as part of the 2K showcase. Did you know that you can use the power bomb into a Boston Crab OMG moment as an additional car finisher? This one comes from XXGamerXX2055 who reveals the ability to use Samoa Joe's power bomb into a Boston Crab OMG moment as an additional car finisher. This only works when playing a Falls Count Anywhere match as should you try to perform it in a backstage brawl then you'll instead see Joe perform the standard power bomb off the limo. However, when playing a Falls Count Anywhere match and heading backstage then should you have 2 stored finishers and 50% stamina then pressing R1 and Triangle on PlayStation or RB and Y on Xbox will allow you to perform the power bomb into a Boston Crab OMG on top of the limo. Additionally, not only can the move be used on the limo itself but you can also use it on top of the WWE production truck giving you a pretty cool way of ending the match, firstly by pinfall or secondly via submission. Did you know that 2K have included new pyro options for Rey Mysterio? This one comes from Clownboy3438 who reveals the addition of 3 new pyro options for pre-order bonus Rey Mysterio as despite not using pyro in his entrance, should you view the list of available pyro options in the advanced section of create an entrance then you can see that there were 3 new options available. These options include Rey's original entrance pyro that was used when he was shot out of the stage, potentially added for a retro version of Rey Mysterio. Also added we have his WWE 2K15 pyro, firstly with the two central stage explosions that were used just before he appeared and then we have fireworks either side of the stage which used to go off as he pointed to either side. Did you know that Jake the Snake Roberts has his own unique promo entrance? Previously in the series we covered how despite 2K giving the majority of superstars new generic promo entrances that they'd actually added a new promo entrance for cover star AJ Styles. However, it appears that Styles wasn't the only one as Dragon Rana reveals that there is also a new promo entrance included for WWE legend Jake the Snake Roberts. This new promo entrance sees Jake make his way at the ring carrying his snake bag containing his python Damien. Following the addition of this new promo entrance, I had hoped that winning the promo would see a unique cutscene featuring the snake similar to how Stone Cold has a unique stunner scene however despite multiple attempts the only unique exit scene that I could find was Jake picking up his bag as he left the ringside area. Did you know it's possible to perform inverted aerial finishers? This one comes from Dead Short, who reveals the ability to perform inverted top rope aerial finishers that see front facing moves such as Ricochet's 630 Centon performed backwards leading to some crazy yet epic looking results. To pull this off all you need to do is hold R1 on Playstation or RB on Xbox when climbing the turnbuckle as this will see your superstar climb it whilst facing the crowd rather than facing the ring. Once on top, press the finisher button and watch as the pull off the move backwards giving you a new variation of the move performed from the opposite direction. So there you go that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.